Some breaking news from Brooklyn this morning. An investigation morning. is underway into a fatal police shooting of a man in a housing complex stairwell. CBS police CBS confirm an officer shot and killed a 28-year-old man here a in the... Connie Gurley, uh, who was killed uh, in a hallway, in a dark hallway, by a rookie cop. Just within the last hour, crime scene unit officers took out bags of evidence from 2724. Lindsay... Oh, Gurley! A lot of kids, their fathers got killed or they got killed in situ situations or they're in jail because of situations. They could get shot around the corner. And when the shootings happen, is they come and run to our building because it's a safe haven. We can't let that go by the wayside. With all of the negativity and violence going on outside, we, we have about three members of our center that actually were caught up in the violence. One got shot in the hand, and another one got shot in the back a couple of weeks ago. And, you know, to see them coming in with canes and casts on, it, it hurts because we know if they were inside, you know, or we was able to keep the centers open, longer hours maybe, that they would have been inside and they, the, the violence may not have touched them the way that it did. Hi, I'm Cherry Pache. Um, I'm the founder of PDM Performing Arts Corporation. We come to this community center three times a week, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And these kids come from all different parts of Brooklyn to participate in this dance program, which is awesome. And this is such a great community that opened their doors for us and said, we got a place for these girls. And that was so awesome. So we appreciate the community for opening up their doors and having the kids come in and just dance, because that's what they love to do. Dance keeps them off the street. Dance keeps them motivated. Dance keeps them inspired. And that's what we're all about, dance. It's just a way of life. Hi, my name is Sakina Wilson. I'm one of the associate directors of the Brooklyn Diamonds. We are a cheer, dance, and step organization. We have children from the age of 5 through 18. We teach them different forms of step, different levels of dance, and we also have our cheer competitions that we go to locally as well as nationally. We like to help the kids in the community, so some of our children come from pink houses. And so we like to give them stuff to do. We don't like to see children just sit around and want to do nothing or maybe get involved into bad stuff. So we said, how can we bring something different to the, net, to the area? Kids from when they were five, they're now on our intermediate division now with us. So they keep coming because they enjoy it. This is stuff that they enjoy. This is something I love and I wish I had it for me, you know, when I was younger. I didn't have stuff like this. So we're giving them something to do. Was it ready? Yeah. My name is Osei Smith and I am the director for the Royal Knights Marching Band from Brooklyn, New York. I run the program absolutely free for the kids within um, various communities. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Say, say, say. From East New York, we are based in Pink Houses Community Center and also in Canarsie. We are based in Bayview Houses Community Center. We teach everything from scratch. A kid can come in five, six years old. We start them off with basic material and we build them up. All the, most of the kids in the community, they don't have any music experience because they take them out of the schools. The kids don't really know anything about it. So when they hear a marching band, they don't really know what it is unless they watch TV or seen it, you know, at a local parade or something like that. So we bring it to the community to offer them something different. Recently, we had a couple of kids that we actually sent off to college. 
and we partner up with different colleges. Um, we have about eight members right now that's going to Benedict College um, for scholarships. And once he's seen the kids play, coming from an area in New York that doesn't focus on uh, HBCU style marching band, the kids really impressed them. You know, so they wanted to offer more money. You know, all the kids that go to the band currently, that's graduating high school, they're all going off to the same college and they're offering a scholarship for the kids. We just want the kids in the community to have something else to focus on rather than the gang violence and everything. You know, it's a really, it's a hard struggle, especially in an area like this where they say it, is a, it has a bad reputation. You know, oh, you're in pink houses, you know, you buy a project building. Uh, I don't want my kids going over there, it's, it's negative. But it's more than just that in the area, you know, it has a lot to offer. And once people start to realize that, then that's when the community start to grow together. I made a million dollars on my computer. What you think, old boy? You're just a ruler. For comparison, this your car bag? Now I don't perish with it. How you doing? My name is Daryl Thompson, but everybody in the center and the building call me Demo. Um, I am the coordinator for the YMI uh, program at the center. That's the youth mentor mentoring initiative. I feel it's important to mentor the young men in the community well, the neighborhoods surrounding the community because it's um, a way to get them out the streets and keep them focused and let them know that there's different things to life than just the violence and negativity going on around them. Here in the center, we have stuff that, you know, we're kind of mandated to do. So it's not always what they want to do. And a lot of times that kind of steers them away but if we had better funding and able to get them outside the neighborhoods, get them, you know, to see different things in the world and open their horizons, we'd probably have a way better turnout. There's more than just Brooklyn, which Brooklyn is very big, you know, don't get me wrong, but it's more than just New York, more than just the five boroughs. There's probably kids in this community center that probably never been to Manhattan. And with, with my YMI program, we actually took them to the Liberty Science Center in New Jersey. We took them to the New York Auto Show. And when the kids walked and, and, and got to see that there was more than just the center, it was like you, you seen the sparkle in their eyes. And we actually talking about um, different careers. We have more kids doing more positive things than, you know, joining gangs and thinking, you know, I got to have a wicked jump shot or sell drugs to make it out the community. If we had more funding, we'll be able to open, open the building more hours. And even though, don't, don't get us twisted, it's very tiring sometimes. And us as humans, we get tired and aggravated, but we'll be able to just give, the, give back to the community the way we are supposed to. We'll be able to give the children what, what they need you know, so that they could better themselves or allow us to better them the way that they're supposed to be better.